In this practical, we're going to look at resource allocation using the device manager. In our example, we're going to look at a Windows 2000 machine. However, the procedure is very similar if you're working on a Windows 98 system. We start by alternate clicking the computer icon and selecting properties. From there, we select hardware and then device manager. Once we're in Device Manager, we can see a list of all the devices for our computer, which is called TEMS. Notice that some devices are listed with a question mark, which means that there might be something wrong with them. First, we check the computer and the processor. Notice that we see that the device is working properly. You are much more likely to be looking at devices such as network adapters. And again, here we can see that the device is working properly. Next we look at a device that is not working correctly. It's a PCI device and we can see from the information that there is no device driver for this device. We're given the option of installing one. We exit Device Manager without making any changes by simply closing the windows which we've opened. Device Manager is a very useful tool for diagnosing all sorts of hardware problem. You should take some time to look at the Device Manager on your system and look at some of the options that it gives you. One of these options is to install a driver where one is missing. You also have the option to enable and disable devices which can be useful as part of a troubleshooting procedure.